Let us conclude this module by understanding whatever we have learned so far. In this module, we saw how ChatGPT can help us create a detailed study plan, how to generate code, how to get feedback on your code, how to optimize that code, and how to find different sort of errors in that code. You also saw how you can design your entire web application, such as getting a product description, how to understand what are the different user personas, how you can create UML diagrams using ChatGPT. We saw that ChatGPT serves as a very valuable resource for all sorts of developers. It gives you guidance on design patterns, code development, version control, how to optimize your code, and so much more. It simplifies complex technical topics, making them more accessible to newcomers and aiding their transition into a new team. Additionally, ChatGPT has provided us with a lot of insight regarding how you can design your web application, how to apply different sorts of design patterns to it, how you can generate code according to your own requirements, and how to get code reviews from that particular code. You can also understand coding conventions, how to do proper documentation, and some other mundane tasks such as creating unit tests. This promotes alignment among different team members and enables effective collaboration among the different members of the team. By using ChatGPT for knowledge sharing and understanding, software development has become a much more smoother journey. However, it is important to understand that it has certain limitations. It may struggle with math, it may struggle with generating incorrect code, and it may also stop sometimes due to heavy lag. OpenAI acknowledges these challenges and highlights the possibility of plausible yet incorrect answers. Since ChatGPT is trained on a vast set of data, a very diverse set of data, it may come up with some bias in its answers. So it is very important for anyone using ChatGPT to use it with caution. Thorough research and verification are essential, especially when it comes to critical and complex tasks. While it can definitely save your time, it is very important for you to do your primary research and verify the answers that it gives you according to your requirements. I would like to encourage all of you to try it out and get creative with it. The final remark that I want to end this module on is, will ChatGPT replace developers? This is a very sought after question in the industry right now. Well, my answer is no for now. But I want to end it with a note by saying that, Developers will not be replaced by AI, but developers who do not use AI will definitely be replaced by developers who know AI, how to use it and how to leverage its powerful capabilities.